We have a 2005 Toyota Tundra SR5, the 4.7 V8. And we have an issue with the customer complaint is that the gas leaks when he fills it. So, you can see this vent hose. We've been kind of looking around, trying to find any leaks, various things like that, trying to check the hoses, and we found it. Let me get the camera positioned correctly. Got some holes. Right there, right there. Somebody's been chewing on it, or I don't know. Somebody, something did damage to that. So we'll replace that hose and hopefully get rid of this fuel smell because you can smell it down here. You can smell the fumes, especially when you're right under it. Anyway, we will start with that hose and see what we get. I guess I'll make a little documentation on how we did it. So if you have a fuel smell, look for the top of the hose. Why it's chewed up like that, I'm not sure. It has to be some sort of animal is my assumption. So. Also on top of the gas tank, there's a bunch of ants. Fuel line. I don't, I can tell you what size. It is 9.5 by 15.5, two way. I don't know if you can read the part number on there. Oops. Automotive fuel hose. This will work to replace that plastic line that goes from here to the other side because you can take a razor blade, cut the nipple off, or cut the hose off from here. There's a nipple on this union here. And so you can just get this, we'll fit right over it. It's a little tight, but you'll get it on there. And then we'll clamp it here. And then we'll kind of do it a little silly, but we have the other end so it, it basically has a nipple like this sticking off the tank. So that way you don't have to replace the entire tank because that line is not sold separately. It is a part of the tank. So if you really want to replace the tank, I guess go for it. Anyway, I'm gonna use this because it's a lot cheaper than a $1,200 tank. Not to show you what it looks like when it's all fixed. There you go. Replaceable and uh, don't let animals chew up the stuff in your truck, I guess. So we get it. We, we did it. Hooray.